Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, wow. He got off the ground a little bit. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today, it's the 15th race of the Xfinity season from Chicagoland Speedway. Last time out, we were at Iowa. Very tough race for us. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to that video in the top right hand corner of your screen. So go back and give that one a watch before you watch this one. Now, with Chicago on the horizon, we were able to finally upgrade our engine department cap up to a 90. Cost $450,000, but we finally got it done. Maybe now that we'll have 90 powered engines, we'll be able to do something on these big racetracks because it has been a struggle lately and I don't like it. I really don't like it. It really pisses me off. But uh, we're bringing the best car we've ever had from the Xfinity season, at least for this weekend. So it gives me a little bit of hope that we can make some noise here at the 1.5 miler. Now, before we get any further, I want to say if you are new to the channel and the community, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell so you never miss an upload. We do daily uploads on this channel. We have for the past two months, I think, going back into early July was the last time I did an upload. So uh, we get this content out daily. People really seem to like it, really getting into it. And I need your help, need your support to get to 1,000 subs really quickly. So you guys have been killing it lately. The channel's been growing like crazy, and I really appreciate it. So if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed yet, I really hope today is the day that I can earn that subscription from you. Now, let's take a look at the point standings before we head out to the track. As you can see, Chase Briscoe, Harrison Burton, Justin Allgaier, and Ross Chastain all have two wins to their name. Alfredo, Hemrick, Herbst, and Haley, and Josh Williams all have one, leaving Sindrick and Gregson and Jones as the three drivers in on points right now. Of course, Matt Mills is the wild card. He got a win back at Daytona, but he's too low in the points to be eligible. And we sit 19th in the playoff standings. Not pretty. We need a win. I've been saying it for weeks now. We need a win. Perhaps if I can get this set up right at Chicago with the beefed up horsepower that we'll have from that 90 engine, this will be the weekend we can finally break through. We'll give it our shot. That's all we can do. Let's head out to the track and see how we do. Welcome to Chicagoland Speedway for the Camping World 300. Austin Hill didn't have a good practice session. He'll be a little snowflake today. Cesar Baccarella, engine change after qualifying. He'll be going to the back, and Chad Fincham had to replace his transmission. He'll be going to the back as well, but we won't be back there. No, we qualified 26th. I didn't hit the wall for Coming once. Green, are you ready? Crazy, I know, I know. All right, here we go. From Chicagoland, let's do this. Hopefully our 90 engine doesn't make us poop on the straightaways. 10 laps here in stage number one. We'll go 14 laps on fuel. All right. So far, okay. We haven't been completely blown out of the water like we usually are. Not necessarily fast enough to catch the guys in front of us either, which is a bit disappointing. We're still just slow, man. We are still just slow. Yeah, it's just uh, even with the 90 engine, we're still just way off the pace, man. It still doesn't feel fast. It doesn't feel any faster than it did previously. That much is for sure. But I don't know. 90 engine didn't have the uh, as big a impact as I thought it would. Just really depressing. No, TJ, I don't think I have this, but I appreciate your encouragement. All right, here we go. Now, the only reason we're fast is because of tire wear. It's the only reason. Now we're fast because of tire wear. Whatever, I'll take it. Two laps to go here in stage one, and all of a sudden our car is absolutely woke up. But again, it's just it's because of tire wear. It's the tire wear settings. It's not because of pace or our performance. It's because of tire wear settings. So again, the, the ability to find the the golden settings, the the optimal settings to give a consistent challenge throughout the entirety of a run uh, eludes me. You're either going to be good at the beginning or good at the end. 
That's about it. Unless you make your car OP. But until your car is OP, there's really no settings that are going to make it consistent. I just want a consistent experience, man. Give me some consistency. Oh, well. We're going to come across the line in 12th here in stage one. Though at least we know if this thing stays green, we have a good chance. Nice driving that stage, driver. Thanks, TJ. I appreciate it. All right. Not bad on the tire wear either. Right rear worrying a little bit more. It was getting a little loose, but it was it was still manageable. So uh, we'll bring it in. We'll fill it up with fuel. I'm not going to touch it. It's driving really nice. Finally got a decent setup into one of these cars. Feels good. Stage one is done. Stage two for you coming up next. All right, pit crew lost us three spots on pit road. That's fine. That's fine. We'll restart 15 here for stage number two. We've got another 10 laps here. Perfect. So we can just hold on for a little while while we're up here. Once that once that uh, switch flips around lap six or seven. Well, hold on a sec. We're moving forward now. What the hell? Careful, still there. Inside. Oh, we're four wide. We're four wide. We're three wide. Hold your line. Got one inside. Got one up top. Inside, inside. Noah, that's ballsy of you. Okay, now now here's where they're super strong again. I thought for sure they were going to do this, but I was just, like, waiting on it. I knew it was too good to be true. All right, well, everybody just pass me now. Everyone just pass me. I'm getting to the damn bottom, Tommy Joe. I'll be damned if I'm going back to 30th again. Just have to pass all these assholes again once the tires go, you know, whatever. My in my favor. The nope. All right, you're clear. Four laps on the board, or in the books rather, lap five up on the board. Six laps to go. When is it gonna switch? When are the tires gonna come into our favor? It'll be another lap or two. This thing gets a little loose off of turn two there. It gets a little free. I like it. Better than the dog ass tight plow boxes I've had the past couple of weeks. Somebody left a comment, I think in the last video, I think the Iowa video, somebody left a comment and I appreciate it. Said, hey, why don't you take a few minutes and just run a practice? Put a setup in and run some practice just to make sure that the setup is what you want it to be. So that's what I did here and uh, it helps. So thank you for that that feedback if I'm saying man I always every video I ask you guys to give me your thoughts and, and opinions in the comments section down below after every race I genuinely love to hear what you guys have to say because you guys think of things that I don't you may play this game more than I have uh, it may be a good idea maybe not be a good idea but I, I love hearing them though so always feel free to put your ideas and thoughts down in those comments section man I do appreciate it. You gonna block? You got room. You're clear then. Damn it, Ray. So if this is how the race is gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna fade to like 23rd, and then we're gonna fight our way back up to 12th in each stage. Okay, that's fun. At least we get plenty of practice of passing people, right? Here we go. Brandon Jones is gone, by the way. One change in the settings that I did make for this race is I turned um, AI mechanical failures down to infrequent. All right, you're clear. I'm just, I'm sick of getting those stupid ass yellows where a car just spins for no reason, blows a tire or whatever, and completely fucks up a run. Like, I'd rather have a completely green race than some stupid ass caution, you know, artificially influence the, the outcome. And so far, we haven't seen one. So, again, leave me your thoughts on that as well. Do you like turning it to infrequent? I could turn it to off, but I just put it to infrequent just to see how it is. And so far, we haven't had any. 
There you go. We got back to 12th again in stage two, just like stage one. But no stage points for us. Sad. Again, I don't think I'm going to touch the car. It drives fine. I uh, just need the, the flip the switch on tires, and then we'll be fast after like seven laps, and we'll be good to go. But, yeah, I'm not going to touch it. I'm fine with it. Stage two is through. Stage three. Blah. And just like after stage one, we lost three spots on pit road. Okay, restarting 15th. I think I know what's about to happen here. I have a, I have a thinking about what's about to happen here. We're probably going to fall back to like 23rd. Let's see. Got one outside now. Here we go. Everyone just pull me on the straightaway. Thank you. Ah, yeah. There we go. Open up the bottom. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Back to 23rd. Still there inside. Wow, it must be nice to be so fast on the bottom. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. He got off the ground a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was exciting. Can, can I get a caution? Thank you. Well, that was exciting. Um, well, we'll pit. <laughs> Put some tires on it, and uh, well, now we're in the back. Great. I don't even know what the hell happened in that crash. I got bullied, and then I got stuffed in the fence, I'm pretty sure, by Justin Allgaier or something like that, and uh, we went to wreck him. Not ideal, obviously, not ideal. Still there? You're clear all around there. Still there? Come on, baby. Let's go to the front. Okay, back up to 24th. We're getting there slowly but surely. We're getting there. Go 10 laps on fuel. Oh, we have a caution. What's the caution for? Austin Hill, coming down pit road. Well, you know what? I reckon we'll come down pit road too. Get more tires and have an even bigger tire advantage. Oh, a lot of people pitted. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people pitted. That's okay. Everyone still has to pit one more time. We can't make it to the end on fuel, I don't think. 14 laps and there's, how many laps to go? 14. Now 13. Interesting. Perhaps a little fuel mileage here in Chicagoland. Inside, inside. I mean, we'll race for now. If we just lay back and save, and a caution comes all out, it was all for nothing. And we don't have any track position either, so. We're just gonna hang out, try and save some fuel. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, uh, we're good. I guess that these guys are the ones who did not pit during the last yellow, which is why they're so goddamn slow. Uh, that's my only assumption is that these are the ones who are on old tires. How are we doing on fuel? Estimated fuel 10 laps. 10 laps to go. This could be a very interesting finish if nothing stupid happens. And I know I've just cursed myself by saying if nothing stupid happens. Why? Because this is NASCAR heat. Something stupid always happens. It's like a law. Here, here's how you know if you're playing NASCAR Heat 5. Did something stupid happen? Yes? Okay. And they are pitting. Oh, baby, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I like what's happening here. Please no yellow, please no yellow. We have a chance to win this race on fuel mileage. Are you pitting, Harrison? I bet. Well, he, he pit. Who's this in front of us? Who's that, Josh Balicki? 
It is Josh Balicki. He can't make it. There's no way. He ain't pitting. That much is for sure. He's up there riding the damn wall. Oh, you got to be shitting me, man. There you go. That's how I know I'm playing NASCAR Heat 5. Something stupid happened. Damn it. 13 cars on the lead lap. Damn, damn, damn it, damn. Oh, well. Four tires. Put a little tape on it. Let's go. And yeah, we went straight the fuck to the back. Okay. 14 cars on the lead lap because Chase Briscoe got the lucky dog. There's not going to be enough time for us to pass. We're going to have the disadvantage on tires on speed. Only two laps to go. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Maybe there's something to this after all. Big dive bomb. Ooh. Okay, last lap, top five. Top five. We are not gonna get there. Who's that, Brandon Brown leading? Who's he getting passed by? Are we about to have a stupid winner? Landon's in third. Who is that? Is that Ray Black? Side by side to the line. I'll take fourth. Who the fuck won? I just spit on myself. Joe Graff Jr. is a NASCAR winner. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if he's in the top 20 points. Probably not. Brandon Brown gets second. Landon Castle in third. We get fourth. Nice bounce back after last week at Iowa. Chastain in fifth. Hemrick, Gregson, Balicki, Herbst. Fast Pasta, Alfredo rounds out the top 10. Chase Briscoe with your fastest lap of the race. Good for him. Also led the most laps. Wow, he's got to be disappointed he didn't win. On the move, Joe Graff. Yeah, 25th to first. Way to go, Joe. Way to go. Alex LeBay started fourth, finished 29th. Yikes. Story of the week. David Schildhouse gaining a dirty driving reputation in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Drivers are very concerned that David Schildhouse drives too aggressively. Where was this after mid-Ohio? You're about two weeks late. What? This fucking game never fails to entertain me. God, I love this game. Ah, uh, don't you? Now let's take a look at social media presented by NASCAR Heat 5. Justin Haley says, well, would you look at that? David Schildhouse is making enemies. Try not hitting everybody on the track next time. Shut up, Justin Haley. You bitch. Have an insult. Tommy Joe Martins. Our rival says, hey, that was a nice race at David Schildhouse. I, I assume, since I can only send an apology or provoke, that that's a sarcastic tweet, Tommy Joe. I, I've, what? So Tommy Joe's a rival. Finally, we have a rival in the Xfinity Series. Yay. Get provoked, dumbass. Well, that was a look at social media presented by NASCAR Heat 5. Remember, if you want to get in touch with me on my actual social media, it's at Schildhouse on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links to all those down in the description below. Well, that was a fun race. Honestly, it felt good to have a good run again, a top five finish, exactly what the doctor ordered after weeks of disappointments. And uh, having a setup that worked well was nice to have also. But unfortunately, that leads us into Pocono. My least favorite track. Ugh. That's going to be awful. 25 laps. Uh, we might knock that race distance down a little bit. I can't do 25 laps of Pocono. It's awful. Have you ever driven Pocono? It's terrible. Especially in this game. Well, we'll see when we get there. But uh, for now, I'm going to be happy with a fourth place finish at Chicagoland. That uh, helped us out in the point standings as well. It wasn't a win, but it was a step in the right direction. We got $134,000. I'll find a way to either save towards something for that or spend it on something else. But perhaps we've turned the corner here today from Chicagoland Speedway. At least it feels positive for once. It's been a few episodes since we felt good about something. So it's nice to get back to that. If you felt good about today's episode and you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video and a comment down below. It really helps out me. And it really helps out the video as well, which in turn helps me. 
because the more that you like the video, the more that it gets floated out there and new people find this content and they come into the community and everybody's happier. So leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. And of course, like I said earlier, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we are racing to 1000 subscribers. We're getting closer every day. And with your help, we can absolutely get there before you know it. So I hope I earned your subscription today. If you haven't hit that red button down below yet, please consider doing so, man. It would really help me out a lot. And I would love to have you in my community. If you want to get better connected with my community, there's a link to my Discord server down in the description below as well. So feel free to join us over in Discord. Say hello. Let people know who you are, what you're all about, and where you're coming from. But for now, I appreciate you watching today's video. As always, be good. Be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.